How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time once again to start breaking down the NHL franchise. NHL 24. Oh, you guys know I love doing this. Today, I ask the simple question. Can you get a delay of game penalty in NHL 24? Crazy, right? But long story short, EA Sports nerfed the hell out of the dump in this game. I can't use it off the rush. I can't get out of the defensive end with it. I mean, it's so bad that I don't even think you can get a delay of game penalty in NHL 24. And today, we are here to test that theory out. Now, first off, what is a delay of game penalty? One of the ways you can get a delay of game penalty is by flicking the puck over the glass while you're in your own defensive end. This is a way that you can't just get a quick line change because your team is hemmed in. You can't ice the puck because you're coming right back and the same player's got to stay out there and you can't flick it over the glass because you're going on the penalty kill and the other team's going on the power play if you have that happen. So, in previous games, like NHL 23, the dump and chase was something that I used all the time, whether it was off the rush, again, to get it out of the defensive end, and you could make that mistake of flip, flicking it at the wrong time over the glass, and you're going straight to that penalty box. Hell, you go back to NHL 94, you couldn't flip the puck over the glass, but they still had an effective dump to get it 200 feet down the ice, right? In NHL 24, Huh, not so much. Let's take a look at some of these experiments. So here we are on the ice with my EASHL Pro, the Dangler, the French Fry Master, and I immediately want to show you the lack of power in the dump and chase for NHL 24. This is NHL 23, no problem, nice distance, and this is NHL 24, the exact same input. You ready? Boom. That's the dump and chase now. The quick flip. It is absolutely ridiculous. Now, it will still trickle down the ice, but imagine five defenders out there. I mean, you do this anywhere near them, and they're jumping up and snagging that puck out of midair. I've already seen it. I've seen it multiple times in EASHL, right? So this is no longer a weapon that you can use to A, get the puck over defenders to get it into the defensive end, or B, get it out from the defensive end into the neutral zone to give yourself a little breathing room, right? Now, you can hold the dump down to get a little bit more distance like this, but still not that good. And to me, it makes no sense to have to hold the dump and chase. The whole point of a quick flip is to quickly flip it when you're in trouble. If I have to, hang on a second, boys, hang on, let me charge it up, let me charge it up. Oh, like... A defender's gonna be poking me, body checking me, like that, especially in this game. You need to be able to, oh crap, I'm in trouble, quick flip, look at that nonsense! How is that a part of this game, alright? So I thought to myself, wait a minute, if the, if the dump is that bad, can you even get a delay of game penalty? Now there are three areas in the defensive end with the glass having different heights. You have the one behind the net, which is the tallest. You have the one on the sideboards. Then also you can flip it over the bench, over the glass behind that. I'm going to try the, the highest glass right now. We're going to do the quick flip. Ready? Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Auto penalty in NHL 23. NHL 24, not so much. I want to give you a height example here. You ready? There it is. I flick it. It's about halfway up. For Christ's sake. What the hell, right? Let me try it on the backhand quickly. Yeah, sometimes maybe you get a better one on the back. My God. My God. All right, so forget about getting this puck out of the defensive end. Look at that. The point guys are just going to pick that sucker off like it's nothing. So we're not getting that puck over the backboards. Let's try it over the sideboards here. Oh, oh, not, not, not quite good enough. Maybe I got to be a little bit closer here. <laughs> Leave it up to EA Sports to completely nerf. Uh, a realistic aspect of the game, the dump and chase, I can't get it over. Now, what about the, the bench here? If I use the bench, I get it over the bench, but I, again, for it to be a delay of game penalty, you have to get it over the next set of, uh, that's not going over the glass. Look, it hits the glass. Oh shit, the coach. Wait a minute, it didn't even hit the, are you telling me the glass isn't even there? It's just, whatever, whatever. We'll save that for another video. So, so far, cannot get a delay of game penalty the same way, although, can I hold it? Hang on a second. Oh, Shaban! Oh, still won't go over. Hang on a second. Let me get a, maybe I need to be further back here. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> it still doesn't go over. I'm charging it. I'm charging it for a day and a half, man. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this nonsense. Oh, oh, it's, it's not even close. It is not even close. Hang on a second. Let me just try again. Let me really scoop it. Holy shit, man. 
All right, so over the the sideboards, huh, nope. <laughs> Other sideboard, no. Oh my god, I thought that one was going over. Sideboard, oh my goodness. This is, this is, I mean, I want to hear, I mean, negatives and positives, right? Maybe you can take a positive from this. Like, oh good, I was tired of getting delay a game penalties in the old game. I'm glad they took it out. <laughs> my point is that they nerfed the dump and chase to the point where it's so ineffective. You can't even make a mistake with it now. So hang on, let me try to hold it on the backhand. Hang on a second, hang on a second. Let me try to hold it on the backhand and get it over the backboard. Ugh. Oh, oh my god, I think the backhand is actually the way to go. The backhand seems to be doing a lot better. I scoop it, I'm holding it. It's still nowhere close though. I mean, it still has a ways to go. Let me try to really like, oh, I can't get it over, man. Oh my god. Backhand over the, ugh, over the corner. I, unbelievable. So take what this, take from this what you will, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to say that you can't get a delay a game penalty. Perhaps you can. Hang on. Ugh, what? What the hell? Perhaps you can. You just have to try it over and over and over again. Let's see. Oh, that might have been it. That might have been one that would have counted as a delay a game penalty. Now, this is the one that's weird in the NHL because the referees have to make that determination. Let's see. Scoops it. I... I think it went through. It didn't even go over. It didn't go over. Let's see. Let's zoom it in here. Let's try to get CSI on this shit. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it went through. You can see it right there. It did not even clear it. I don't think the game would count that as a delay a game penalty. My God. So, like, imagine you're, 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 you're coming into the zone and... Oh, crap, I'm in trouble. Quick flick. Like, come on. Are you kidding me? I used to do that all the time, man. Come into the zone, especially on the wing, right? You, you come into the zone, quit, oh crap, we're in trouble. You, look at that! You're not getting that past anybody, man. It is <laughs> so ridiculous. So let's say I charge it from my own blue line, right? Let's, let's say I charge it like it's full pressure, right? Charge it, charge it, charge it, charge it, charge it, flick it. I mean, that's, it's, it's, it's doable, it's not bad, but... It's not good. The freaking goalie can dump it better than the skaters can, man. Look at that. It actually went far and he did it quick. So as of right now, I don't think you can get a delay game penalty in NHL 24, which is... <laughs> I'm not even... I'm, I'm like losing the puck, which is... Uh, I mean, take from it what you will. I, I think... I, I don't know what's going on. You know what? I think I'm hitting... I'm hitting the back at you button because I'm holding down the freaking backhander for so long <laughs> trying to get this to work. Scoop it! Nah, it ain't gonna work, man. It ain't gonna work. So, if you guys can get it, let me know. Oh, I thought I would, no. Uh, if you guys can get it, let me know. But it is just not working. The real sad part of all this is the why. Why would EA Sports nerf the dump? And I think I know the reason. Full pressure. Their new mechanic that they promoted, that they changed the game with, it wouldn't be as effective if you could simply dump the puck over the defenders when your team is receiving full pressure. So to maximize their new feature, they need to remove other aspects of the game. And this is EA Sports chasing their tail, a vicious cycle. They want to make the game more realistic, right? They don't want people turtling and collapsing playing defense that way. So to achieve more realism, they implement an unrealistic feature. But to ensure that the unrealistic feature works the way they want, they need to remove other realistic features in the game. That way, the unrealistic feature makes the game feel more realistic? Wait, what? So I'd love to hear your opinions, your comments, any negative ones, positive ones, if it's a good idea, bad idea. I think it's absolutely horrible. I'm not even commenting on full pressure. We'll talk about that later. I simply miss the dump and chase. It was a weapon that I used in the past, and it was very effective. So we'll end with this. Rest in peace, dump and chase, NHL 94 to NHL 23.